Okay, today is Module 5, Lesson 6. Sorry, for the habit. Uh, module 5, Lesson 6. Now, like I just said, we are not using the problems from the module student notes. Today for class, we're going to do the problem set number 1. Okay? So when do we use area in the real world? You all know that today is my son's 16th birthday. So this morning my daughter was very excited to grab his present. So we had to find the area of all the sides. That's actually surface area because we're wrapping all the areas, all the sides put together. Um, today is also her friend's birthday. So she went to school today and wrapped her friend's locker. So she had to know the area of the front of the locker. What else do we use area? You use it every day. Um, your room wears carpet in their bedroom. That carpet covers the area of the floor. Uh, maybe they have a garden in their backyard. Now at the time of year, I'm trying to hint to my husband I want a little garden now that the playground is gone. Nice little garden in our backyard. So where you would put down your topsoil, that would be the area. Might we have a batting cage in our backyard for my oh, son? So where the sh where he and his friends stand, we have like a little batter's box worn out in our grass. So that oh, that dirt area, my husband's always trying to grow seed there. So that square area of the batter's box is an area. Mm -hmm. So we have a pool. Did anybody open their pool yet? Yeah. yeah. So when you pull the cover off, the cover covers the area, just the top of your pool. Okay? So we use area every day. Who has a fish tank? Yeah. If you have a sticker or something across the back glass, no. so it's like that decoration so it looks like C or whatever so you don't see straight through. So that paper that covers the back pane in your fish tank is the area of just that glass wall in your fish tank. So area is all over us in the real world. So below is a drawing of a wall that is to be covered with either wallpaper or paint. So when we were redoing our kitchen, I told you we redid our kitchen. Remember we talked about Euclid's algorithm and we had the tiles for the backsplash. Well, we had to decide, well, do we want to paint the walls? Do we want a wallpaper? And of course my husband wanted to do what was cheapest. I right? didn't want to spend a lot of money. So we decided, should we paint or wallpaper? So we had to figure out the costs. So first we had to know the area of what we were going to paint or wallpaper. So here is a picture of the wall in my living room, which connects to the kitchen. So let's label our picture. It's telling us that it is 8 feet high and 16 feet long. The window, mirror, and fireplace will not be painted or papered. So can I just do 16 by 8 and be done with it? No. No, because that's too much. I'm not painting or wallpapering the whole thing. I have to take away the area of the window, take away the area of the mirror, and take away the area of the fireplace, because I don't need paint or wallpaper there. So I actually need less than 16 by 8. Okay? So the, the window measures... 18 by 14. But wait a minute. What? Did we want to throw a red flag here and say that's not reasonable? Why is the 18 not reasonable? Why is the 18 not reasonable? Well, because if the area of the wall is 16 feet. Length. Oh, oh sorry. The length mm -hmm. of the wall is 16 feet. The window can't be 18. Yeah! That's telling me that my window is longer than my wall. And so wait a minute. So I probably have these backwards. That's 14 feet and that's 18 inches. That makes more sense. But I can't start multiplying feet by inches. I know that I have to have the same unit. So why don't I take my 18 inches and turn it into feet? So if I have 18 inches, how many feet, how many inches are in a foot? 12. 12. 
So if I break that into 12 inches, that's one foot. But how many inches are left over? Six. Six. So six is half a foot. So I'm going to cross off my 18 inches and write it as one and a half feet. So I have to have all the same units. Yeah, now that makes more sense. Absolutely. No red flags now. All right, so the fireplace is five feet wide and three feet high. The mirror is four feet wide by two feet high. Okay, those all seem reasonable. So now we're ready to continue. Any questions on how I converted the inches to feet or how we labeled the diagram? All right. So now, before we can figure out how much wallpaper or how much paint we need, uh, we have to figure out the area that we're going to cover. So let's find those four areas, the total wall, the window, the fireplace, and the mirror. Go. So now that we have the four areas that we need, we have to remember that we are only going to wallpaper or paint this area. All right, I went outside the lines a little bit, but you get the gist. So when I did 8 times 16, when I did the total, that was this whole wall. The whole thing, including the window, including the mirror, including the fireplace. But am I really going to paint those things? No. no. So my yellow and this red square was everything, but now I have to take away the window area. I have to take away the mirror area, and I have to take away the fireplace area from the whole. So we have two choices. There are two ways we could solve this. The first way is we could take the total area and then subtract the window, the fireplace, and the mirror. Or what we could do is add the window, the fireplace, and mirror together and then just subtract it once. So either way is perfectly acceptable. Whether you just take the whole and subtract, 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 or let's add those three things together and subtract it once. So either way, the area that needs to be covered is 84 feet squared. Now I keep saying the area that needs to be covered, that's called our net wall area. We talked a little bit about nets, how when we open the shapes, we see the net. But um, if you ask your parents about their paycheck, and when I get a paycheck on Friday, I get paid a certain amount of money. And that's my growth. That's how much I get. But then they take away federal taxes. They take away state taxes. They take away my health insurance. They take away my union dues. They take out... <laughs> excuse me, they keep taking things away, and then when they give me my check, that's called my net. Okay, so the net is like, that's the yellow area that we're really going to. So you can keep seeing this word net over and over again. All right, any questions on where these numbers came from? Why I subtracted, or why I added, or why we labeled it feet squared? Any questions on those? Okay. Somebody last class asked me what net meant. So now I knew to explain it to you today. So your questions help me teach it better every time. That's why I love to hear your questions. Okay, so now that we know how much, how much do we have to cover? What was my net area? All right, so that's what I need to actually cover. Now, the wallpaper is sold in rolls that are 18 inches wide 
and 33 feet long. So my daughter had to think about this yesterday when we were at the dollar store and she was buying wrapping paper for her friend's locker. She had to make sure she had enough wrapping paper to cover her friend's locker. We need to make sure we buy enough wallpaper to cover the wall. So what is the area of one roll of wallpaper? So we know that area equals base times height, which is the same thing as length times width. We could write it either way for a rectangular roll of wallpaper. So the base would be 18 inches and the height is 33 feet. Anybody want to throw a red flag? What's the matter? One of them is inches, one of them is feet. I could do 33 times 12 and change my 33 feet into inches, but then that's just a big ugly number. I already know that 18 inches is one and a half feet times 33 feet. So what is the area of the wallpaper? So we go to our messy margin, we do our long multiplication, or we look at the answer key, and we realize that it's 49.5 feet, and that's one roll. Is that enough? I need 84. That's not enough. So let's see how many I need. 84 divided by 94.5. I can't have the decimal in my divisor. So 495 into 840. Well, that goes in once. I have to add my decimal zero, seven. It's going to keep going. But do I have to keep going? Mm. No. Do I know how many rolls I need? Yeah. They're not going to sell me part of a roll. I need to buy a whole roll. So how many rolls? Two. I need two rolls. I don't have to keep dividing because I have enough information for my answer. I can't even roll down. As soon as I can't even round down. Not roll down. Round down. And we will have some left over. So let's continue. So now I know what my net area is. I know how much wallpaper I need. Let's see what it's costing. My husband chose this week to do it because woo, wallpaper's on sale. Yeah. It's $11.99 per roll. Per means to multiply. So I need two rolls. So $11.99 times two rolls. Did you just make that 12 or? Why would I make it a 12? I need two rolls. 1.7, we rounded that to two. Oh, no, no, it's a no. no. When I go to the store, you're not charging me more. If it's eleven ninety nine, I'm paying eleven ninety nine. You better not be rounding up the price of anything. And then I'm paying you more. Uh, if you want to round it down and give me a discount, why not? That's fine. But the cost is eleven ninety nine. So you know, but if you want to do that over here mentally, so that's twelve twelve times two is twenty four. So I know my answer has to be a little less than twenty-four dollars. So excuse me, excuse me. So that will help determine if your answer is reasonable. Because you can do that mentally. All right, twelve times two is twenty-four. My answer has to be a little less than twenty-four. Um, you do not Perfect. So twenty-three dollars. And is that reasonable? Is it close to the twenty-four? Yes. Okay. But that was the wallpaper. Maybe painting would be cheaper because we want to save money here. 
So a gallon of special textured paint covers 200 feet squared and is on sale for $22.99 a gallon. But we need two coats of paint because oh. it just seeps right into the wall. You have to put a second coat on it, okay? So find the cost of using paint to cover the wall. Well, how much? What was the area? 84. So then that wall was 84 feet squared. But I have to do it twice. twice. So 84 times 2, 168 feet squared. So that's how much paint I need. What will, God bless you, what will one gallon cover? God bless you. Oh, okay. I guess from last year to this year, price went up. <laughs> well, I must have made a typo. I made a typo on here. So, $29.99. But how many gallons do I need? God bless you. One gallon, one gallon covers 200 feet. So if one gallon will do 200 feet, and the net that I need is 168, is one gallon enough? Yes. Yeah. Yes, God bless you. So one gallon, so the cost will be 29.99. Yeah, exactly. You want the leftovers in case you have anything scratched. But what was cheaper? The what should we do? Paper. The wallpaper was how much? Uh, $23.98. So it would be cheaper to wallpaper. It would be cheaper to buy the wallpaper than to buy the paint. Okay, so this is an example of area using decomposition because we broke it apart in a sense, okay? So tonight your homework is problem set six, but only numbers four and number six should be done on loose leaf paper.